Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my video about how to upload pictures from iPhoto. It's really quite intuitive. You just want to open up iPhoto, make sure that your camera is connected via the USB port to iPhoto, and I've just turned my camera on, and in a moment here what will happen is right next to the pinwheel, the camera will show up. You'll notice in the meantime that down here I put in a album called Four Hub Pages, and that's where I plan to put the pictures that I'm getting from the um, camera into now. And again, it's just going to take in a minute to load up some photos. I've, I've still got quite a few photos in my camera. I don't, um, I don't delete them as I go, which is probably perhaps not the best thing to do. Here's the photo I have in mind. Just quickly drag it into the folder that I want to put it into, which is Hub Pages. And then I'll open up Hub Pages. Well, first let's delete the photograph and then go over to the device. You want to unmount your camera whenever you um, are done with it. So you just uh, right click on the camera and then you um, can safely turn it off. Now going down to the photo that I just imported, it's this one over here. I'd like to edit it a little bit. It's just very intuitive using the edit control uh, panel. Here you just begin by clicking on the edit and then in this case I want to rotate it and I think it might look better if it was cropped. I think it would look better if it was cropped, so I'm just going to let's constrain the image so that we keep the same uh, ratio, and then I'll just drag this down. Now, because it's constrained, it will keep the same sort of uh, dimensions, so it's still going to be the same kind of dimensions that it had before, only it's going to have less of the screen. And, you know, in a way, let's... Uh, say we're done with that and because I've cropped it in this fashion I might be able to get away with rotating it so let's rotate it around a little bit like this and then we'll blow it up down here you can see there's a opportunity for me to drag that all the way over and I can see what it looks like that like this it might be okay that way I think if I rotate it back the way that it was when I first took it, it probably looks more realistic or natural this way. So anyways, that's the end of this presentation about how to get a photo from your camera into iPhotos. I hope you've enjoyed watching it.